said, I knocked and he said, I left it open for you. I said, no, it's over here. It's not a closet. <laughs> the first time I, meant, I noticed it was probably in February or March in 2007, which is the year she was diagnosed. And I asked her for her social security number. And she had no idea what I was talking about. It's great when they all come over because it gives us an assemblance of normality. So, um, you know, and she, she kind of, she really does enjoy it. It's really just the, most of the time it's very, very smooth and she's good. You just, sometimes you're always on waiting for another shoe to drop because you just don't know what she might, you know, what might happen. Um, you know, she just make it up and decide during dinner, you know, let's go. And you have to kind of, you know, adjust to that. We used to do this before she was diagnosed. We'd always come over once or twice a week for dinners. So it's, we try to keep the routine as normal as possible. The diagnosis was the biggest shock. Um, I would have understood if it was, you know, whether it was a brain tumor or something like that, it would, um, you could kind of maybe accept that a little bit more and say, and rationalize it. Not that one disease is better than another, but you could say, okay, well, you know, that I, this has happened to other people where this was just completely out of the blue. Squash is not much variety. I want to see her as often as I can. It's tough, you know, just being married and having a full-time job and stuff, you know, so these dinners are great. We all, we get together and like I said, my brother and I are very close, you know, we're lucky and um, my sister-in-law and my husband, they, we all get along very well and, you know, my dad's great. He's been great throughout this whole thing. So it's, you know, it's, it's obviously been a very tough situation but it's definitely brought us a lot closer and you know we just want to help my dad as much as possible because he does so much for her she's been at this level oh since probably six six or seven months now um and she's kind of at a good place i mean you know like you can bring her home uh we go out for an ice cream she comes over here and hangs out on the weekends we come once twice three times a week for dinner you know, and it's good. And she relaxes, I think, more with that. So I think that's why it's so important. You want more of Kim? More cutlets? Mm -hmm. Is she eating? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. She ate a lot, a lot of her lunch, so. 